What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build, a place where I wanna rock and roll all night and party every day. All right guys, since my first show Shuggy Bomb video, you guys have been asking me to light a guitar on fire. So today's your day. <laughs> I just picked up this Ash body on eBay for like 70 bucks, I think. I don't know if I ever paid or not because I'm not a guitar guy. Um, the other ones seem more expensive and this had a good grain pattern. And before you guys start trolling my comments, even though you will anyway, my fingernails were painted because it was daddy daughter day yesterday. And this is the color that my daughter picked out. I think it's kind of cool though, at least she didn't go pink. And I think it's fitting for this video. Since this blank is already cut out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little stank on it, my friends, and then we're gonna dye it. But since this is Build Dad Build, um, I wanted to try a little experiment while I was at it. So what I wanna try to do is I wanna try to laser engrave an image on the back of this. So right now I'm running a test burn of the image on the guitar. The idea is to laser that onto the body. Then I'm gonna take just a little piece of, this is, 22 gauge sheet metal, and I want to use this as a, to block. So I'm gonna kind of hold this down, and then I'm going to flame out, flame on, whatever, um, out around the image. Because what I want to do is I want to kind of protect the image so you can see it and burn all around it. So we'll see if that works. Another thing I've heard is that baking soda and water will deepen your laser engraving and make it darker and a little crisper. It seems to work with the Lichtenberg machine, so I wanna try that out as well on the back of the guitar. On this test piece, I'm running one without, and then we'll run one with after that, just right next to it, so we can do a side by side and see what we think. All right, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna get to work. And by get to work, I mean, we're gonna stare at this thing for a little bit, not directly at it. Make sure you get yourself some cool shades. Woohoo! All right guys, I can see just a little bit more detail in the one with the baking soda. Um, and then what I did is I went ahead and ran. So these two are at 85% and these two are at 100%. Let me grab the camera. So this is 85% just dried. This is 85% with baking soda. I actually even ran it over twice just to see if it darkened anymore. Didn't really, I mean, it's, it's definitely engraved a little deeper. This is 100% dry and this is 100% with uh, baking soda. Can't tell hardly any difference in these two and in these two. Like I said, I mean, if you look real close, like some of these little tiny details show up just a little bit better, but I mean, it's, to me, it's not worth my time to mix baking soda. What I did is I did a half teaspoon of baking soda, four ounces of water. So let me know in the comments down below if my ratios are off if you know something that works better. And maybe I'll actually just make a future video uh, testing just different strengths of baking soda to see what works the best. So the idea is I do have to raise the laser up a little bit. I'm gonna grab a couple two by four chunks so I can raise it up. I'm gonna zero the laser in on this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture with the guitar body inside it and then I'm gonna import that into Lightburn so I can figure out exactly where I wanna get the spider placed on here. Let there be stank. Tomorrow. Guys, it is the next day. Um, I uh, I was just whooped, man. So here's what we're looking at right now. And as you'll see, I, uh, I, I burnt a little bit on the spider, 
just by accident. The, the piece of sheet metal, I'm not sure if the piece of sheet metal just wasn't doing its thing or if I lifted it up and let the flame go under it. I have, a, I have an idea of how to fix that here in a minute. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dye the guitar a red. I'm using Oxblood leather dye from Feebings. That's what we're gonna use to get our Black Widow Red. I did ask my YouTube community and my patrons where we should place the spider. We ended up going with a Patreon suggestion over the mass amount of votes because the three choices, the spider was actually flipped the other way. We had a further discussion on Patreon about flipping it so it would fit more organically in this corner. And that's what I actually decided to go with because I, I did feel like that was a better fit. Being said, if you wanna be in on decisions like this, head over to my Patreon page and, uh, and check it out. I also do behind the scenes content and sneak peeks. That being said, I'd like to say thanks to all these guys. My patrons are the ones that keep the lights on in the shop. Uh, without their support, I don't think there would be a channel. I would like to say thanks to these guys, especially my top tier patrons or Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, and Andy the Viking. I would clinkies you, but uh, it's, it's hot in the garage and I'm sick as a dog. But I love you guys. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to dying. But before that, what do we do? We glove up. All right, guys, so this is not looking great as it stands. Um, I like the front. It, it has kind of a, like almost a maroon color to it. So I think that looks good. But the back with the spider, like it's totally washed out of the spider. So what I started to do was I, I was gonna cheat. I was gonna fill it, uh, fill it up with a Sharpie because I got a pocket full of Sharpies and my homeboys do too. But as I started to fill it in, you can see like it looks a little bit better, but I think we're really missing the, the laser engraving at this point. So I think we can go back to the drawing board. I think I'm gonna sand the back down and come back in and redo the spider and go from there. And it's almost five, so we're gonna have to start this up tomorrow morning. And here we are, clinkies everyone. Thanks for sticking around. So we had our ups and downs, uh, but I think it, I actually really liked the way it turned out. I really am glad that I went back and sanded it down and redid it. I did fill it in with a Sharpie because I did want it to be a little darker than it was, but nobody's gonna know, man. They're never gonna know. Now the biggest issue I have is I asked the guy on eBay if it was a solid piece, meaning is it one piece of wood or more than one piece of wood. And he told me he told me it was one piece. It obviously is not, because it's split down the, uh, you can see the glue seams. I responded back to him and it was a misunderstanding when I said, is it one piece? He thought I meant, is it, it, is it all in one piece? <laughs> so just a misunderstanding. I don't know if they make, I'm assuming they do, they're probably more expensive, but I don't know if they make guitars out of like a single piece of wood because I would really like to try that out because the big thing is it's not so it's it's not so bad on the uh, on the back but on the front you can really see them and honestly the front wasn't the the experiment anyway so I mean it's got kind of that maroon color it doesn't look too bad and it does really have a good texture but you can see these big splits so not a big fan of that but look at that back so good I love it turned out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to turn out. So I am absolutely happy with it. So guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Uh, if you haven't yet, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It just really helps the channel out and it doesn't cost you a thing. If you like this video, hit that like button. 
If there's something else that you want me to laser engrave or a different way that you want me to burn a guitar or another project that you would like me to tackle, leave it in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for playing. Now I gotta get to work. What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Bill Dead. I see myself. I also am sweating like a pig because it's like 85 degrees in the garage right now. Squeal like a pig for me, boy! on can you hear the phlegm that's attacking me right now i'm dying i think i'm dying i very well could be dying or maybe i just have a flu i feel like poopies